Las Vegas Sands Corporation continues to face COVID-19 challenges. The company who owns the Venetian and Palazzo released its second quarter earnings this afternoon, a 97% drop in net revenue compared to last year. Now, while there are signs of recovery for its properties in Asia, here in Las Vegas, it's going to take time. Sally Hadamio joins us live from the Strip with more details. Hi, Sally. Kirsten, during today's conference call with investors, Sand executives say Las Vegas is in a very difficult place and it's struggling. Now, Sand's chairman and CEO, Sheldon Adelson, says Las Vegas is dependent on fly-in visitation, groups, and conventions. Since Las Vegas is no longer a casino-driven market, they can't make money with limited hotel occupancy either until state and federal guidelines are lifted. There is no full recovery timeline. Tuning to Las Vegas. The eventual recovery could take more time here than in Asia, particularly because of our reliance on group meeting business. <clears throat> we remain confident that Las Vegas will remain the greatest leisure and business tourism destinations in the United States. Sands Corporation says right now there is a strong demand on the weekends and guests are gaming, but during the week occupancy is low and they need, quote, more customers. The company is remaining hopeful that people are eventually going to start traveling and shopping here and gathering together. Reporting live in the Strip, Sally Jaramillo, 8 News Now.